Welcome to IDB everyone, it is Andrew here. This is the third installment of our new HomeKit automation series where we take a look at all the great things you can do with HomeKit. I hope you checked out parts one and two. If you have not done so, get on that and go check out those videos. But part three is here. We're gonna take a look at how to create more or less a status late on the security of your home. Are your doors closed? Are your doors locked? You can find out all of that at just a little glance without having to worry about asking Siri or checking in the app itself. To do so, we just need a few different automation rules that we're gonna show you how to set up. So to play along at home, you're gonna need a couple of things. So first off, we're gonna need mainly two accessories. So in my dining room, I have a smart lock, a home kit lock. In this case, it is the August. Any home kit lock is gonna work just fine. I happen to really like and enjoy the August. So that's the one that I've been sticking with, but any home kit lock will suffice. And then the second accessory that we're going to need is uh, in this case up in my bedroom, but we need some sort of light. Now in this case, the best thing that I found is some of the iDevices products. So I have a wall switch, but there's actually two different parts to the wall switch. There's the actual switch itself. Then there is a little night light. You can change the brightness. It is actually a whole home kit light just by itself, but it's really small, really subtle, and you can actually program all this as well. So it's still up in the bedroom, the idea being we're in the bedroom, hey, are the doors locked? I don't know, you can look right there on the wall and see a status light if the doors are closed, windows closed, and the door is locked. So taking a look at the accessories actually hands-on, this is the iDevices wall switch. We covered a full review of this. It's a pretty darn awesome wall switch, but you can see right there in the middle of the actual switch is a little light. So that's the little light that we're gonna be able to program and change the color based on the security of our home, based on if the doors are closed, the lock is closed, all of that information. Now, while the wall switch is great, it's not the only accessory that does it. Pretty much all of iDevices products have these tiny little night lights on them. A lot of their lighting solutions do include it, including their little wall outlet. So if you would prefer something like this, this is totally doable. These are super affordable. We got links for all the stuff down below in the description to make it easy on you guys. But basically it's got a, a little button on the side, manually turn your lights on and off, but that dark spot right in the front, big ol' status light. So you can really easily see it from across the room. Just with a glance, you can tell on if your door is locked or not. I get the same question every single night. Hey, is the door locked? Yes, it is. It is locked. And I can tell you just by that little light that is staring at us, I no longer have to ask Siri or say yes it is or pull it up in the home app. So much easier just to see, especially when you're not downstairs or not where your actual door is. So how do we actually make this work? It's pretty easy. In the home app, we're gonna jump to automation tab and tap on the plus button in that top right hand corner. Now you do have different settings for automation, like when people arrive, people leave, time of day, an accessory is controlled or a sensor detects something. In this case, it's going to be when an accessory is controlled. So in the dining room where our front door is, we have that August smart lock. So when the dining room front door locks, we want to change the color of our little nightlight. So I'm gonna scroll down here, find the bedroom and find our little nightlight. So remember they do show up as two different ones. You don't wanna select your actual wall switch. You wanna choose the nightlight that accompanies it. So in this case, the nightlight, bedroom nightlight there. And we're gonna to go to the next step where we can actually choose the characteristics of that light. You can change the brightness if you want it higher or lower. I keep ours pretty low because you can see it easily in the dark. And then we're gonna change the color to red. So when the door locks, we want the color to be red. So I think you know where we're going with the next step of this. So right now we have it when the door locks, turn the light to red. We have to do the whole thing in reverse now. So when the door unlocks, we want the light to turn green. So to run through one more time, automation when the accessory is controlled, the front door, when the door unlocks, we're gonna turn the night light in the bedroom to green. So when we're up there, we can see, okay, is our house locked or is our house unlocked? And if it's unlocked, obviously we can ask Siri, HomePod, whatever we wanna to do to lock that door, but we at least know if it's locked or not before we go to bed. It's a really little thing, but it really does give you more peace of mind when you can physically see that your door is locked or unlocked when you're not near it. So now that we have both of those programmed, let's take a look at kind of a summary a rundown of exactly what you should see inside of your home app. We have two different automations, one for locking and one for unlocking. And they should look something like this. Make sure they are enabled right there at the top. The dining room front door unlocks. We have the bedroom nightlight. It's still at 10% and it's going to turn green when it unlocks. And of course the same thing in reverse, turning red when the door is locked. Here you can see it in pretty much real time. Literally just, just like that. Lock the door, turns red, unlock it, 
turns green. Now, while you can see it in these two different videos here, let's take a look at it in more or less real time, super wonky as I'm holding both phones in front of a camera and the lock and stuff. But as I unlock, you can see it turns green, lock it again, boom, instantly. That is the status light upstairs. Go back, you can see bedroom nightlight has turned to red or green whenever I lock and unlock the door. Of course, it also works for those wall outlets. These are super easy to use and you can really see them a lot further than the small ones on the actual wall light. Now you could use pretty much any HomeKit bulb and have it turned on at like 1% all the time so you would know, but these are just a lot simpler. So you could use any light as a status light, but I love how these work. They work at night, they work from distances across the room. They work so smoothly and reliably that this is the best way I found to create that status light without having to use an actual like Hue bulb or LifeX bulb. For what it's worth, you also don't have to limit this just to maybe a door locking or unlocking. If you have contact sensors, it could go the exact same way. So when a contact sensor is open, the light could go to red. And when the contact sensor closes, it could go to green, whatever you want to set up for your home. But that way you can make sure the windows closed, doors are closed, whatever it is that you have going on that you want to make sure is secured. So make sure you guys let me know what you think of this home automation trick down below in the comments and throw up any ideas that you guys want to see in future episodes up as well. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all the latest installments whenever they come out. And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.